Hey everybody, uh, Dan here. Today I wanted to tell a really quick story and then uh, the very important uh, lesson that I learned um, from it. Um, so I recently purchased uh, this capture uh, camera clip um, which basically allows you to attach it to a backpack or a, um, a belt clip and basically uh, and you attach a thing like so to the bottom of the camera like you would a tripod and then you attach it to the clip and so it's very easy access and you don't you know have to have it either around your neck if you're especially if you're traveling walking around a lot and, and stuff like that and so um, I purchased this because um, this next week we're actually going to be going for the, to the Grand Canyon for a whole week and so I've been very excited about it. I was looking into clips, bought it, actually got it today and um, was testing it, um, put, put the little clip um, which I thought was securely on there, turns out it wasn't and um, I stuck it to the bottom but it was actually with the lens on it which that's lesson number one. When you're trying out new accessories like handless accessories with a DSLR camera, just do the body. Don't put, don't keep the lens on it. Um, so that was mistake number one. Mistake number two was that I thought it was attached firmly to it, to the bottom. It turns out it wasn't because I was walking around for a good like few minutes with it on there, just testing it out, seeing how it would feel, and it was great. But and then it, I and then it. I heard a pop and the camera just straight up fell off because the bottom part wasn't securely on it and it fell on uh, what was tile ground um, basically uh, the, the only place that's carpeted in this house is upstairs but that's where Becca is so um, <laughs> it I saw it hit the ground and I was just like oh crap and I went over to it, checked the LE, the you know the screen, the the back screen for it, and that was fine. But the lens cap was still on the front of the lens. But I knew that like it was probably messed up, and I removed the 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 lens cap, and I just saw a huge crack, and I was like, oh, cr like I seriously, I literally fell on the floor, and was like crying for like two minutes because I was so excited to take it on this trip. And I would have either had to ship it off to get it repaired or had to buy another like another lens and that would have been like two to three hundred dollars probably and I was just so upset. I got back up and then I realized something. A couple years ago, um, if it wasn't last year, it was the year before, uh, while I was visiting Steven and Mal, I brought my DSLR and um, for some reason they had to go to Best Buy and then Mallory said, hey, you should really buy this filter. It basically protects it from um, mostly like dust and fingerprints and stuff from touching the lens, but also um, with if it were to get any scratches. But she didn't tell me about dropping it and cracking it, and that's what happened. So I removed it, and it was only the little filter. Now this thing was only like 10, maybe 15 bucks at most. Most likely it was 10. Um, it was very inexpensive compared to like the rest of the lens and the rest of the camera and this thing freaking saved my life because uh, I removed it and the lens was fine. So first off, thank you so much Mel for making me uh, purchase that thing. Um, it definitely saved my lens's life and it saved me two to three hundred dollars. So <laughs> I just thank you so much. So I definitely uh, learned something today. Um, leave a comment below with something uh, dumb that you did and what you learned from it. i definitely like to know. Anyway, um, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And look forward to the Grand Canyon vlogs. I'm so excited. It's going to be a ton of fun. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.